Hi, everyone. Um, well, I got a little pushback on the part one here. Someone was suggesting that it does appear that Jesus actually should be deemed cursed because he was hung on a tree. Doesn't it say that in many, many places in the New Testament? Therefore, you're wrong, Doug. Jesus does come under Deuteronomy. All right, so let's look at the application of this. Uh, the question we're going to receive from a person named the appropriate, appropriate is going to ask us about how do I square this with the fact that the New Testament has uh, several passages that says Jesus was hung from a tree. My kingdom is from another place. Here's the question from the appropriate five hours ago. I do, however, have one question. You briefly mentioned that Jesus was not hung on a tree, but was crucified on a cross. But there are four scriptures, three in Acts and one in First Peter, that all say that Jesus was hung on a tree. How do you square that? What All right, so let's take a look here for a minute. There's a difference between those four this, passages and the passage the involving Paul. There Paul said, is quoting the Torah, no where we know it means the word him. tree. But it See? Is your custom we do not know, you and we should not conclude, that anybody else made the same mistake you that Paul made of the using the word the in Greek to signify no, what in no, Hebrew, no, the original text, meant someone was hung from a tree, meaning that they were hung from an actual tree, meaning a branch of a tree, Rope tied around the branch, Chapter 19. pulled down to the person's neck, wrapped around Jesus their throat, and had him an object thrown out from the underneath them, and they fall to their death, crown of instant thorns, almost instantaneous death. Very little suffering, in a uh, and that's what and being hung from a tree means in the Torah. Saying, it does not mean being crucified on a cross, the suffering from, from, from six to four days, uh, once more, Pilate in slow, gradual asphyxiation, which I'm going to show you the big look, difference between these two I things. Am him out and so the people to speaking you know about hanging from a piece of wood no is the right translation of four times. Him. But when then Jesus you have to ask yourself, would the, the translators want to make Paul look he's, like he's correct that Jesus to them, actually hung from a tree, man, which in biblical sense the means chief an actual tree, not a, saw not a piece of wood crucified, that is cut up and then you're, you're laid but on Pilate it in tight and wrapped You take him and crucify him. It's not the same him. thing as being as hung for me, from a tree. I find right, no we'll basis for a charge against him. The Jewish leaders insisted. We have a law. And according Here's to Galatians that 3, 13, 14, he must die Christ has because he claimed to be the well, son that of God. He says that curses when everyone Pilate who doesn't this, obey the law. He was even more and afraid. And, and he went uh, back inside the palace. We'll Where that do that as well you come from? Text, just so he we asked get a bitter, Jesus. Bit, bigger picture but of him. Jesus gave him well, no answer. Do you refuse to speak to me? Jesus was made a curse for us. I have power either to free you or to crucify you. He's a sinner. Jesus answered. He's going to take that attribution on. He's not an innocent lamb anymore. He's going to take on. Therefore, the one who handed me over to you what the verse says. is guilty of a great sin. Written, cursed is every curse by God. From then on, says. Pilate tried to set Jesus tree. free, but they the Jewish leaders kept shouting, If you really let this says, man go, you are no hey, friend of a, Caesar! A jungle gym, Anyone uh, who claims to be a king opposes Caesar! Pilate heard this. He brought Jesus out and sat down on the judge's seat at a place known as the Stone Pavement, which in Aramaic is Galilee. Getting rid of the law, the it was the day the of preparation it's, of the Passover. It was about you. noon. Totally Here is your king, Pilate said to the Jews. And that means but they shouted, the blessing of just heaven. But a dumb, alone, dumb Gentile, as we all are, don't know this. Read it. Just read it. We gloss over it. We do not understand We're adults. We don't need this. All right, so to gain that significance, we're going to see the word there is most modern Zion. Remember, Mouncey is... So the soldiers took charge of Jesus. I've learned since that he is bound. To use the NIV translations Nazareth, because he is an Roman NIV translator. So even though he's locked, working on a team, uh, he doesn't have the last word on what the meaning of words well, are. The so you have to do is you've got to look up the word Zylon and there in the his road. interlinear that pops up, excuse me, his lexicon that pops up when you press that word. And it was one what do you get? Wood, Roman timber, Corinthians, Galatians, stock, gloves, posts, cross, and for years after that, those are all acceptable meanings of those texts that say Jesus was hung and by the cross, or he was used of wood, or he was timber. You want to say that? He wasn't hung from a tree. It's not a tree where you cut it down, you slice it up, and you spit it down a shape of it where you no longer kill someone quickly by snapping their neck, by dropping them quickly out of a tree. Uh, uh, by rope around their neck, which the rope is then hung from a tree. No, that's a very humane way of killing someone uh, when you use it by hanging them from the tree. Uh, but when you use the, the separate timbers to 
you know, put, put their hands out the, the, to the sides, what ends up happening is you the force their breathing to, to be constricted over time, they so they my die of gradual asphyxiation, which is a very cruel death. So this is anyway, I just want to show you here, uh, this is a good way of looking at it. This Near is a sermon index. Jesus, it says cross Zulon Zylon. So it's just point blank telling you that Zulon can Mary be and is the meaning of the word. When Jesus cross, it literally and means wood and refers to anything made of wood, including a tree or other wood art or substance. Woman, Again, you only son. can tell by context, and, and that's where I'm trying to give you the context of the original mother, passage in Hebrew from that and then the context on, of the crucifixion of Christ, giving a completely different context from what the Torah said. So, so Paul's words, like I said, had now been finished. are that and so intended that according would to be the Operation Messiah said, in reference to Jesus as cursed by having been hung by a tree is to basically repel every Jewish person because if that's the interpretation that Christians have legitimately believed, then there is no way in God God's greed on earth that any Jewish person would ever accept that person drink, as their Messiah. Jesus That's said, impossible it from them. But a dumb, dumb Gentile, as we all are, that, don't know this. And we just read it, we gloss over it, and we don't and get the info. We spirit. do not understand the significance. Now it so now, was the day right, of so preparation, that and the next day was the to be a special Sabbath, because the Jewish leaders did not scholar, want the bodies right. left on the crosses during the Sabbath. They asked Pilate to have the legs broken and the bodies so the taken down. The soldiers therefore came and broke the legs of the first man who had been crucified with Jesus, and then those of the other. But when they came to Jesus and found that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. Instead, one of the soldiers pierced Jesus' side with a spear, bringing a sudden flow of blood and water. Anyway, so here is Deuteronomy 27, verse 22. This is the passage we're dealing with. Uh, 22 and 23. He knows that he tells the truth. And here's what it and actually says that Paul's extracting so that you from. And if there will be a sin bringing a sentence happen, of death so on a man, the would be and he will be put to death, his bones and you will hang him on a tree. And, as another That's how you're going to put him to death. They will you shall not leave his corpse on the tree, but you later. shall bury him Joseph on that day, Aramathia because a hanged person is an offense to God. And you shall not make him was a uh, of Jesus, pure, but secretly you shall not make him pure your land leaders. that God, With that Yahweh your God is giving you as a legacy. So this word offense means cursed. It's, it's a curse to God. This person is cursed, and that Jesus is true. So Jesus would become an offense to God, and he would turn away and never look in his direction ever again. That's different than atonement. The atonement is God pities the poor innocent animal that has um, been killed innocently for your sake. And it's, made, it's, made, it's intended in that situation to make you feel guilty for the atonement you caused. But in this case, this is to, this curse is taking away the laws having to apply to you because he Paul is because quoting Deuteronomy 27, which we'll get into a little later, saying cursed is everyone who does not obey every curse uh, command of the law. So basically, and that's false. That would mean you commit one command and now you're cursed. You're going to hell. No, <laughs> it's not what the law says. And uh, but Paul said, and what it says says is cursed is everyone who does not uphold this law to follow. And we'll give you that quote from Friedman later. But anyway, this is the, the true context, and you can just tell it's talking about someone who's hung from a tree, basically by being hung by a rope. 